Dr. Lori Mosca, and my patients like to call me Dr. Lori. I'm Director of Preventive Cardiology at New York Presbyterian Hospital. This is a very unique specialty where we help patients try to prevent the development of heart disease. One of the experiences that led me to the field of preventive cardiology was when I was a second year medical student. I actually watched my father having a heart attack and I had to take him to the emergency room. And I was very impressed when the doctors were running around trying to save his life. But what was most impressionable to me was thinking about how we could have prevented him from actually being there in the first place. Our program at New York Presbyterian Hospital is very personalized and very comprehensive. We work with every patient to optimize their lifestyle through a, an approach with diet and exercise and often stress management. We also offer the latest technology to screen for the early signs of heart disease, which is very important because we know that 40% of people with their first symptom of heart disease is death. We see patients that may have advanced heart disease where we're working very intensely with them to lower their risk factors, but then we also see patients that might have a family history of heart disease and really want to just try to prevent themselves from having a heart attack in the first place. Many people really know what they need to do. They know they need to eat better, they know they need to exercise more and stop smoking. But what many of my patients and their families find very difficult is really how to do that and how to incorporate these strategies into a really busy lifestyle. So I put the book Heart to Heart together based on my years of experience with patients and their families telling me and my team at, at New York Presbyterian Hospital what works and what doesn't work and taking these patient stories and also my own personal experiences and trying to really put those together in a book that's easy to read, easy to understand, and most importantly is motivating. For example, in Heart to Heart, I talk about planning meals ahead of time on the weekends, even preparing them when possible. Taking your gym bag in the car with you at all times so if you're driving your kids to an event and you can fit in a 20 minute brisk walk, that's a great way to try to live heart healthy. And at the end of the day, I want everybody to understand that even if you haven't been successful in the past, that we try to express to our patients that no matter how far you've gone down the wrong path, turn back because attempts to improve your lifestyle at any point will have great benefits at every age.